Hi everyone, uh, this is Satyajit. Welcome to my channel Cloud Journey with Satyajit. So last videos, we discussed about the gateway endpoint and gateway endpoint features. Okay, so gateway endpoint is a route table based communications. So while creating the gateway endpoint, we need to uh, mention the route table and which route table we need to connect the gate the VPC endpoint entry. Okay, so and uh, uh, we can restrict only via this route table route table communications. Uh, so other features is there is an interface endpoint. Okay, so interface endpoint is ENI based auth authentications. If you see my diagram, this is a uh, gateway endpoint features. Okay, so in EC2 instance have that uh, route table on that route table gateway endpoint entry will be added so that communications will go via this gateway endpoint and reach the Amazon S3 bucket. Okay, so there might be questions how we can restrict. Let's say there is a VPC. I have uh, two private subnet okay two private subnet i want uh, some of the ec2 instance in private subnet one will go via the communications via nat gateway and some of the private subnet in private subnet two it will go with communications via the vpc endpoint like someone public based communications over the internet and something private with authentications via the vpc endpoint so on that we need to create two route table okay so one route table i can attach the private subnet one and another route table i can attach the private subnet two so one route table where private subnet one will be added there i can add it the vpc endpoint so that on that particular subnet uh, whatever the ec2 instances will be there when they will access to the s3 bucket their request will go via the vpc endpoint and on the second uh, route table or second subnet private subnet 2 there on that respective route table i will add the nat gateway so that all the communications whatever will go it will go over the internet so my uh, problem will be solved on these cases so here we need to create multiple route table so based on that access restrictions or the way of communications so then what is the interface endpoint or what is its advantages okay if you see my below diagram that is interface based uh, architecture okay gateway endpoint only so only support s3 and dynamo db but interface endpoint support multiple services like uh, sq if you see my diagram sqs secrets manager ec2 s3 also supports interface endpoint and there are many more services okay so how it will uh, it will work like it is a eni based architecture eni means the elastic network interface okay and we know security group is always attached to the elastic network interface so the access restrictions can be managed by the security group okay so same scenario if i have two pair of subnet i want one pair of subnet communications will go via the internet and another one pair of subnet i want the communications will be go via the interface endpoint so here we don't have to create a route table because it is not a route table based restrictions so what i will do while creating the interface endpoint uh, which security group i will select it on that security group i will add the cider range of the particular vpc particular subnet where i want the communications private based communications let's say private subnet one so private subnet one cider range i will add onto the security group of the um in interface endpoint whereas i will not add the security or the cider range of the private subnet two so that what will happen the private subnet two that regular communications will go via the internet and the private subnet one which cider is added into the interface endpoint that communications will go via the uh, interface endpoint let's jump into the practical and we'll see how the communication is happening and latter part we will show the difference what is the gate point gateway endpoint difference and what is the interface endpoint difference and we'll discuss more into that okay so today i am going to discuss about i will create a secrets manager i'll put some random secrets and i want to access it from the ec2 instance okay and from that ec2 instance while i am accessing the secrets one is if they have they have internet gateway or nat gateway they can access it directly because it will request will go via the internet and i will create an interface endpoint and i will try to access it uh, let's jump into the practical okay so if you see my the ec2 instance on that ec2 instance i have two ec2 instance one is jump server and one is app server two server are there now 
I will create a secrets. Okay. So to store a, I need to go to the secrets manager service. You can search it from the secrets manager. And while creating, you can create a store a new secrets. We will discuss more into that how to create a RDS secrets and something. But uh, to make it simplicity, I'm just creating other type of secrets. And it is key value pair. So key value pair, I will write username. Username equal to, let's say I'll give my name Satyajit and uh, another row i'll password okay so password equal to some uh, random character i will uh, write it okay that's it and encryption key means that that uh, password whatever i'm adding right the key value pair that will be also encrypted so encryptions happen via multiple times like this is the default key if i have new key i can add a new key and i can create a new key in the kms so to make it simplicity, I'm using the default key, whatever AWS has, and create next. Okay, and that giving like, uh, let's say demo secret or demo key, something I'm adding and uh, descriptions, you can add anything. Okay, and I'm not giving anything, keeping everything as default. And uh, no Lambda functions, no rotating, I'm not using anything. And uh, I'll create next. And finally, I will create a secret. Okay, store it. So. I create a secrets now. You successfully store the secret. Just refresh it. So my key is there. If you click on this one, then uh, the secret value is there. No, right? We, we, we just need to retrieve the secret value. So it will, what is the username and what is the password? It will show. Okay. So now I have two EC2 instance. So from jump server and app server. How I will access those EC2 instance? If you see this app server, it, it doesn't have any public IP it, and it is in private subnet. If you see, it's a private subnet. If I go to that particular subnet, here I have added the NAT gateway. I just created the NAT uh, and added it. Uh, if you see the NAT table and there is a NAT gateway added. It means it has internet access. Let us jump into the, let us log into that uh, server, okay? If you see, um, I already logged in. I will just type if config to know the IP address, it's 10.02.249. So log in, check, verify. Okay, this is 10.02.249. This is the app server. So from here, I will just type it, the command uh, to, uh, AW, there is a command, right? AWS secrets manager, get secret value, hype event secret ID. So secret ID, I just added demo key because this is the secret uh, demo hyphen key, secret name. So while I am adding it, it will not work, okay, an error record. It's saying access denied. It means directly from here you can see it's saying assume role is not working because I did not added any role, okay, or whatever the role I have added EC2 hyphen S3 hyphen role, it doesn't have proper permissions, okay. Let me log into that and check it. Uh, sorry, here you can verify the role. What is the role I'm added, right? The EC2 S3 role. And if you go to that EC2 S3 role particular, and there it doesn't have that secrets manager permissions. Okay, uh, let me check it. Uh, if you go to this permissions, only S3 full access is there. So what I will do, I will add a permissions, attach policies, and there is a permissions called secrets manager read and write. But this is uh, not recommended. You can create your own because maybe it should have multiple secret. So if you give these policies, it will read all this, but it is not recommended. You should create your own policy, but for simplicity, I'm just adding that to test it. Okay, I added, now I run that same command again, same command. It should, uh, okay, uh, let, it, let's, uh, let us wait for some more time. Uh, it should work. Okay. Uh, let me verify it on which EC2 instance I have added it. Okay. Uh, just cross verify. Okay. Uh, secrets manager read and write I have added. Uh, let me cross verify again. Okay, see, now it is working because uh, to adding the role and getting something, it will take some time. So now I'm able to get it, the what is my username and what is my password. It is happening over the internet, okay? So now let me remove it. Let me remove the NAT gateway, okay? I will just uh, go to the particular route table and go to the particular routes and remove the NAT gateway entry. Once I remove the NAT gateway entry, it should not work, okay? it should throw the error. 
okay there is if you see it's not coming after some time it will say timeout so now how to create an interface endpoint okay uh, let us go to this endpoint and create an endpoint and here you can just add bpc hyphen a hyphen interface any name you can add it and here you can type your secret manager okay this is the secrets manager uh, com dot ap south and secrets manager is a regional service that's the reason it's coming ap south one and type equal to interface so select that and here you need to select the bpc a and here it is adding subnet because it will create ena in each subnet okay so so my ec2 instance is ap south 1a so i need to select that and here you need to select one availability zone let me select private subnet i cannot add both okay and also i can select both ap south 1b here also i can select another you can select one only one or depending on and here ip address type is it support ipv4 so i need to select ipv4 and it is asking for security group let me add the default security group and that's it it will um, and that's it okay you need to give a name select a vpc and select the subnet so now i'm adding two subnet ap south 1a and ap south 1b so in both the subnet it will create two eni two elastic network interface okay let me uh, create the endpoint so endpoint creations it will take some time it is in pending state by that time i will pause the videos and once it is up and i will uh, um, i will uh, resume it okay so so it took uh, three to four minutes of time to make the statuses available so now my interface endpoint is created and it is in available state okay and uh, there is a security group right on that security group default security group if you go to that security group i added all traffic okay i added all traffic for only 10.0.2.0 24 this is the private subnet you can just verify so there is a private subnet uh, 1a right so this is the 10.0.2.0.24 so i only allowed for that okay now let me open the terminal okay and i'll verify if i do ping google.com it is not going to work because it doesn't have any internet now let us run this same uh, command secrets manager okay it's saying access denied it will take some time okay uh, because it is throwing the same error okay see now the same 10.0.2.49 i'm able to access it i'm able to get the my uh, credentials okay so and it is uh, once again i'm doing ping google.com okay and i'm able to there is no internet but i'm able to access the uh endpoint so now what i will do how i will restrict it okay so what i will do i will go to that particular endpoint and the security group and uh, in that particular security group edit inbound rules let me remove the rule okay delete it okay i don't have any rule okay now no rule if you see there is no rule now let us run that same command is it working or not okay it should not work net is not working okay now use that same command secrets manager it should not work now if you see it is not working because there is no particular uh, rule added okay it's, there is no in the security group side there is a restrictions okay so what i will do once again i will add it edit inbound rules add rule and i will open all traffic for the 10.0.2.0 slash 24 okay and save the rules once i added the rule let us run that same command it should work now okay see now i am able to access it so the restrictions can be happen via the uh, security group now you might have one questions like how we should verify or how i am very very sure that request is going via the eni so to overcome that i open two terminal okay let me open another terminal another window okay and uh, uh, let me log in it okay so i simultaneously open this one let me log into this uh, uh, jump jump server yeah. uh, okay let me get the jump server ip then only i can able to do it okay uh, then again log into the private ip uh, of this uh, private okay 
so now i'm able to log into the private okay now let me pause it okay fine so now uh there is a command tcp dump to packet uh, trace the packet right so the command is tcp dump hyphen i and uh, what i want i want my ethernet port my enx like what is the ethernet port how to verify what is the ethernet port you just hit config and this is the enx0 primary ethernet port okay so i should use that command tcp dump hyphen i this is the same ec2 instance private both i want to capture the uh, the trace i need to trace it okay uh, so enx0 okay uh, port and the communications going 443 okay i'm entering it now i will use the same command secrets manager okay once added okay let me cancel it now it's it gives some uh, ip details the uh, communication details so now i capture it so the communication is going this is my ip 10.0.2.49 so request are going from here uh, it is redirecting to 10.0.2.95 okay so we need to verify 10.0.2.95 okay what is the ip of 10.0.2 what, what is this 10.0.2.95 okay if you go to this eni elastic network interface 10.0.2.95 just verify here the ip address 10.0.2.95 okay this is the endpoint interface you see this is the endpoint interface and this is created uh, by now only like which we used okay this is the interface endpoint so communication is going via this interface endpoint okay so uh, this is for this uh, today's video like we 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 know like uh, we understood how to create an interface endpoint and how the communications can be controlled via the security group and how the communication happening or how we are very very sure by tracing the or by capturing the tcp dump report so from there we identified requests are going from from the server ip and requests are going via this eni okay and we can control all the communications from the security group of that uh, interface endpoint okay uh, so this is for just uh, to verify how interface endpoint work and we will uh, in the next videos we will understand the use cases of the interface endpoint okay uh, that's it for today and if you have any questions or something put it in the comments i will read that comments and i will help you out thank you for watching my videos thank you